Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how you can add shaders to Curse Forge mod pack. So this is going to be a really quick and e another quick and easy tutorial. So basically, we're going to show you guys three things or three method methods, of course. Well, not really three methods, but it's more like some ways you can add shaders to them. Some of these should already have a way to add shaders, so it's simply by using the ones they already have currently, or you can add some. Of course, I'll show you how you can also add shaders, and as well as how you can imply shaders to the ones they don't have a way to add shaders. So, for example, let's say we click on Pixelmon, which doesn't have a way for you to have shaders. You would have to get your own shaders from a different thing, which would basically be Optifine. Optifine is a perfect source to use this because Optifine and this version of Minecraft works perfectly fine with each other. So we're going to go onto Google and search up Optifine. Of course, I have a video. I can't spell. I have a video on how you can use Optifine and such, so I won't go into detail. But basically, with Optifine, you have to make sure you're on the right version of the game, the right Forge version and such things like that that video should be on top if you want to check that out but anyways we're looking for 1.16.5 and the version of the game we're on is this we can actually change the version we're on but we're not going to do that we're not going to change the version we're on so we're just going to basically mirror the first one download it should finish downloading so we're going to add this to error uh we just add it to the back, right? So we have easy access, open our file explorer, or actually not open our file explorer, but actually open, press the three dots and then you open your folder. Then you should be able to do this, right? Just drag and drop it into your mods and then it should be right there. And then we just open the game. But yeah, since it's also loading at the same time, we're also gonna go onto Curse Forge real quick, the website of course, and to download a shader because there's no way for us to, we have to implicate it through the pack. So we have to add it ourselves instead of like, you know, through Curse Forge, we have to do it through the website. So we're gonna choose one that's like an old one. Let's say I want something aesthetic. So this pastel and make sure it has something for, if it doesn't have that current version of the game, Make sure the shader you're using has the, the correct version you're on. So like this one has practically all the versions you would ever need. It is basically what version we're on. 1.16.5, filter by that. And then just press on the newest one. Well, I think any of these would work because we're on that version. So we're just gonna click on the first one and it's supported on that so we're just going to download it Close that out. okay so you're it should be right here for me mines will look like this so don't really worry about to that that too much so we're gonna do the same exact thing we did earlier open the folder uh should have just dragged it okay hold on i'm gonna drag this here close that out so slow at this okay open folder and then where we have shaders just drag the shaders in here close that out and minimize that open back minecraft we'll go to minecraft options video settings shaders and then just click on that it should do a little freeze but it should be fine it's just reloading the game and then it should work just like that. Press done. And then just so to test it out, just create a new world. Wow, see? And there we have it. We have shaders and a 1.16.5 world, which has shaders and Optifine. That is one way you can add shaders. Another thing you could also do is for like a different mod pack, which will be, let's say, uh, one of the ones that already have shaders, but you can also add your own shaders right saying we go we're gonna go back into the curse forge website and of course if there's like a certain shader you want to download then you can download from here like um because there's like hundreds of shaders you can download from if there is a certain shader you actually want to get you would have to make sure that's on the right version or it will not work so let's run up the minecraft game real quick 
I'm also going to show you again uh, what version is this says 1.19.2 so we're going to look for a 1.19.2 mod pack so let's say um let's say I want my game to look spooky like this this should have it says 58 version of this game it's crazy so you go to files game versions just scroll to wherever you want 1.19.2 and just down just press download and it should manually download from your thing so like the mistake i did i'm gonna well it's gonna open it up again so just gonna extract that so ignore that of course i'm gonna open my files because i forget that i have winwire for some of my stuff so i'm just drag and drop that close that i'm gonna close this out of course minecraft should be opening so i'm gonna let it open i'm gonna also at the same time open the folder and drag and drop the folder my texture shader into the shader thing they into the shader specs they have let's drag and drop it into here close that out full screen minecraft as it's opening So if, you're, if you want to, you know, add your own shader or you have a shader you want to add, make sure it's on the right version and it's optimized, of course, you know, with the game and basically your options, video settings, uh, shit, where is it? The render? No, extras, details, particles, quality. I do not. Okay, hold on. Oh, wait, I just saw it. I just saw it. This was right there, I'm blind. But anyways, the shader you wanted to add, just press apply. Press done, done, done. Open your game. Let's just open one of the worlds I already have open. I did say I was going to show you two, oh three, but this is basically like two ways you can do it. You can go into one of the mods packs that I already have that doesn't co usually come with like a, a res like a performance mod like Optifine, which is a performance mod, which they access to enable uh, Optifine, or you can use Rudium, which I've been showing that a lot, Rudium and Oculus, which is basically Optifine, but better, and you can add it to any other like shape or mod pack that already has it. But most mod packs nowadays already has some sort of performance mod where you can add shaders into it. So that at itself, it should be better. Unless it's a really old one, then Using op because Optifine is pretty old and it should work perfectly fine with any mod pack. Well, most mod packs that already does not have an opti like an optimization already in it. So if that better explains it, but basically this is how you would be able to add shaders or any shader of your kind uh, into mod packs for your own benefits. If that helped, please um, let me know. That's all for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below. Uh, if the video helped you a lot. But anyways, sniff out.